the foolish king. Long time back, there lived a king. He had a beautiful royal palace and a large kingdom. Yet he was unhappy. His only dream was to touch the moon at least once. He always used to make plans to touch the moon. One day he got an idea. He called the royal carpenter and asked him to make a wooden ladder which could reach up to the sky. The carpenter was quite surprised. After listening to the king's foolish idea, but he could not disobey him, it was though rather impossible to build the highest ladder which could reach up to the sky. The royal carpenter said, Royal workshop does not have that much wood to make the highest ladder, but I would definitely try to make it. He brought a wooden board, pencils, scale and started making drawings on it. He pretended as if he was making plans to make the longest ladder. Days passed. The king became impatient as the ladder was still not ready. He was furious. He called the royal carpenter and asked, How come the ladder is still not ready? Why are you talking so much time to make it? He won't remember if the ladder is not ready. I could get your head chopped. The royal carpenter was very tense and confused. He thought for a moment and said, Dear sir, I have an idea. Order your soldiers to get each and every wooden box from the whole kingdom to make a tower. The king ordered the same and the soldiers collected all the wooden boxes from the whole kingdom and put them in the garden. The royal carpenter asked the soldiers to place the wooden boxes on top of one another. The tower was still not high enough you know, to reach the sky. So he ordered to cut all the trees in the kingdom to make more boxes. All trees were cut by the soldiers and carpenters made boxes out, out of that wood. All the wooden boxes were used to make the tower higher and higher. The king was the king was Relieved to see the tall tower, he started climbing on the tower. He climbed the tower with a feeling that he could definitely touch the moon up in the sky. When he reached on the top, he was still unable to touch the moon as it was far away in the sky. It's still out of my reach. Get me more boxes, he shouted. Everybody searched for more wood but failed to get any wood in the kingdom as all the wood was already used in making the boxes. There is no wood left in the kingdom, said the royal carpenter. Get me all the wooden sticks Flag poles, fishing rods in the kingdom, shouted the king. All the flag poles, fishing rods and wooden sticks were collected by the soldiers. The king asked to tie them so that he could reach the sky. But even this trick was not successful. The king was very excited to touch the moon. An idea stuck him and he asked his soldiers to give him the biggest box lying at the bottom of the tower so that he could place it on the top.
stop and touch the moon. The soldiers and all the town. The soldiers and all the town. People standing below were shocked to hear his foolish idea and screamed, "Sir, we could not give you the biggest box as it is placed at the bottom and all the boxes are placed on it." I do not care. I need the biggest box, otherwise your heads could be chopped off," roared the king. Everyone was confused, as it was difficult for them to obey the king's foolish idea. But at last, as they pulled the biggest box from the bottom, all the boxes came tumbling down one after another. Everything was finished, and it was the end of the foolish king and his foolish dream to touch the moon high up in the sky. Thank you.